Megan, you've been busy this morning trying to catch up on a lot of crazy weather that's happening around right. the world, but Japan especially. Yes, Japan especially. There was intense heat across portions of Europe this weekend, but in Japan, Take a look at this situation. It was absolutely a deluge there. They needed a boat practically to make it down the street. Flooding was in Hiroshima. It's the worst in decades. More than 100 people dead or missing from several days of rain that actually led eventually to landslide activity. Rivers overflowed their banks that stranded people on rooftops. Military paddle boats and helicopters are now rescuing people there. So the weather has been really active around a good portion of the world. World. And here's another place near Puerto Rico. They're dealing with uh, what was once Hurricane Barrel. At this point, it's no longer a tropical system, but it is still bringing very heavy rains to Puerto Rico today. Not good. After less than one year has passed since Category 4 Hurricane Maria, still so much damage there. And they'll be dealing with that through the course of the next couple of days. We've also got another uh, tropical system here. This is Tropical Storm Chris. Right now, winds sustained to about 40 miles an hour. It's off the coast of the Carolinas. Expected to stay off the coast of the U.S., but uh, it will impact folks along the eastern seaboard in terms of beach erosion, higher waves, things of that nature. Here in Chicagoland, it's easy today, but the heat, the humidity, they're building. We've got 90s on tap today with much more in the way of humidity, but there's the relief. It's a cold front. It comes through tonight, brings us an isolated shower chance, and then opens the door up once again to weather like we had this weekend. Cooler, more comfortable. Start off this morning in the 50s and 60s, but we're building today to a high of around 91. That 91, though, feels probably more like the upper 90s because take into account the humidity, and that's going to make it feel uh, quite a bit warmer. Tonight, you'll have that chance of rain coming with the cold front, and then into the day tomorrow, we're back down to 83. So this is really one of the best weeks. I promised one of the best weekends of the summer last weekend, Dee. We got that. But here's the good news. It continues into a good chunk of this week.